what is up you guys what is up just felt like doing a live stream today and I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that I speak about a lot um, in, with my private clients we talk a ton about leading um, and I, the reason I wanted to talk about it with you guys is because it is when I say that I don't mean just like, hey, let's be a leader in your business. Let's be a leader in your online space. Like that is not at all what I mean. Hey guys, hey Emily. Um, what I mean is, what's up Sean? Um, in every aspect of your life, in every pillar, in every area, you have the choice to be a leader. You have the choice to lead the conversation. You have the choice to lead the um, relationship. You have a choice to lead the deal. You have a choice to lead the sale. You have a choice to lead the email, the con like every bit of it, you get to choose what direction that goes and how you react or how you don't react or how, what direction you allow it to take. And when I talk about that, um, when I like get deep into these conversations with people, when I talk about that, I consider that choosing to lead. Um, I consider that choosing to stand in a place where you're in that power, you're being intentional with what you're doing, what you're saying, how you're acting, what you're thinking, those types of things, and you get to choose where that goes. You get to lead. And what does that mean? Like people are like, okay, I don't get to choose to lead every conversation. Why not? Like, why don't you? That doesn't mean that like, oh, I'm going to steal the world, like the words from this guy, never let him speak because I need to lead this conversation, but what I mean by that is two people can be leading at the same time. You can both be able to be intentional with what you're saying and take it to a certain direction. What I mean though is that you are in control of where that conversation goes, meaning when something is brought to your table, you get to decide if you let it upset you, if you let it take up your time, if you let it do this, you know what I mean? Like, is it worth, is it serving you? Do you want to give it to your attention? Those types of things. Like, that is what I mean when I say leading. Like, you get to choose. It comes down to that choice. Hey, Scott. And so, it is a conscious decision that if you are aware and you're present and you're in the moment and you're very, I feel like there's a lot that goes along with this, but like it's something that people should really start to practice and try to make a daily part of what they have going on in their world as they go and go out and handle business relationships, personal relationships, dating, family members, friends, whomever. You need to understand that like you are in control of where that goes. You are in control of specific aspects of how things happen and play out because you can choose to stand in that place and lead. Meaning you can, instead of just going with the flow, you can lead the conversation in a certain direction. You can do those types of things. How does this work? You have to communicate, number one. Like you have to, well, first of all, you have to kind of be pretty clear on what it is that you want um, or what, you know, direction you're wanting it to go. But you have to communicate. You have to make that clear. No one can read your mind, okay? Let me just tell you that. If you are not going to speak your truth and speak what you want and what you're seeking and what the result is that you're looking for, if you're not sharing that with people in business, in friendships, in family relationships, in um, like romantic relationships, you are never going to get what you want. Like you're gonna spend the majority of your time not being satisfied and not getting what you want out of somebody. Here's the kicker though, guys. Everyone's like, don't set expectations, Jamie. But like, I don't wanna set, in, in like romantic relationships, I don't wanna set expectations though. So, you know, I don't wanna ever be disappointed. I'm always going to be, I'm never gonna be satisfied because of people will never meet my expectations. Okay, let's break that down for a second because why does your expectation setting have anything to do with getting what you're wanting. Here's what I mean by that. Communicating what you're looking for, how you're feeling, what you're wanting, is not demanding or setting an expectation for you to be let down. It's actually laying that shit out there for you to be like, okay, either you're gonna be able to meet me at this or you're not. That's not like, oh my God, I don't wanna be disappointed. That's not what this is. This is like, let me be clear about life and now this goes like across the board like I said 
personal relationships, business relationships, everything. The way you communicate is huge. Like, <sighs> whoops, I disappeared for a second. There's nothing more frustrating than people being like, well, I mean, it just didn't work or this didn't happen or blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, but did you tell them? It's like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, well, did you tell them that you needed it by that time frame? Well, no. Well, did you tell your boyfriend that you like want him to text you back during the day at least a couple of times? Did you tell this person like, no, you didn't, but you sat there and you got pissed off and you got hurt and you got your feelings hurt and your expectations broken because you never communicated with them what it was that you were looking for. You know, you, you missed a deadline and didn't get something launched or out on the time frame that you wanted because you didn't communicate with them. So like, that's what I mean when I say leading, like you are in control of that and you have to own that shit and be in control of it. Like if you want the reaction or the, not the reaction, but if you want the response and the end result that you have in mind, like communicate that guys, like people can't read your mind. David, yes, people you misuse the word expectations all the time. It's it, absolutely they do. People are like, well, I just don't want to set any expectations here because I don't want to be disappointed. Okay, well, motherfucker, you're going to be disappointed. It's life. Like, that's what happens. I'm pretty sure we even disappoint ourselves most of the time, sometimes from time to time. So, like, let's just quit using that as an excuse and just communicate what it is that you're looking for. And either people are going to meet you and provide it or they're not. End of story right? Like basically that's how it goes. I can't, I mean, literally this is a conversation I have every single day. Well, this didn't happen. I didn't get this. Cool. Did you communicate that? Did you, did you tell them you needed it by then? Well, no. Oh, so you didn't get it. Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, let's get back to the drawing board. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to help people with that. Um, Emily, don't assume the person knows what you want. Absolutely. Don't take it personally. Emily, I'm pretty sure that I just hit every one of the four agreements <laughs> without even meaning to. <laughs> um, but I mean, real talk, guys. Like, that's just reality. Like, you have the control to, uh, to lead the conversation where you want to take it. Um, you have the control to lead a situation and, and get the result that you're looking for by just being up front and deciding to step into that spot and be clear about what it is that you want, when you want it, how you want it and either people provide it and they can help you or they can't. And if they can't, then you either do it for yourself, which is typically what I do, or <laughs> you go find someone who can help you. And then you get the result that you want. Or you know that what you're looking for isn't going to work in this time frame, blah, 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 but you're able to have actual information and you're still leading that conversation. You're still leading that situation. You are still in control of that. This is literally like, I think Mike Rogers is on this call. I think I just saw him. This is literally the definition of being present. Like, don't take that for granted. I will say it till I'm blue in the face for the rest of my life. Like, be present. You have to be aware of what's going on. You have to be intentional with your reactions, with your words, with what you're doing. Like, it is the name of the game. And when you do that, you are in control of how you handle what's brought to your table every single day. Deciding to freak the fuck out is a choice. Deciding to stay in bed is a choice. Deciding to ignore something is a choice. There he is. There's Mike. Mike's the Be Present man. He has a product line of Be Present shirts. You should go check it out. <laughs> How do you like that little plug? I just <laughs> they are pretty cool though. Um, but yeah, it's like a constant reminder. Is why I like brand like brands like that, and that's like why I got this tattoo. Is I need the constant reminder. Like. I want the constant reminder that this is what I'm here to do. But like basically, you guys, I just wanted to pop in real quick, give you a little bit of truth and just remind you that you really are in control. Like shit doesn't happen to you unless that's the choice that you make, unless you allow it to play out that way. End of story. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> you get to decide. Like you're in control of those reactions that you get. Like best piece of advice I ever received a million years ago from Tony was I will not let you bring that to my table and I was like what I remember him saying I'm like what are you talking about bring what to my table and he's like when people bring their own frustrations their own lack of communication their own issues their own panic their own lack of planning their own ignorance whatever it may be and they bring it to your table and they like set that on your table okay 
you get to decide what you do with that because it's your fucking table. Do you deal with it? Do you ignore it? Do you push it to the side? Do you tell them to never come back again? Don't touch my table. It's my table. Like you are in control of what happens and how you react to that. And that is how you lead every situation to go in the way that you want it to go. And if you can't, communicate that. If you're not happy with where it's going, communicate that. See if you can figure it, if you can fix that, because you might be able to. You see what I'm saying? It all comes back to like standing up and being able to stand in that place. Like if you sit there quietly and don't ever speak up and you don't lead your own life, you're not going to get the shit that you're looking for. You're going to be unsatisfied. You're going to be unhappy in the relationships and in the business that you're running. That is just the truth. So you have to own that shit. I don't give a shit. It's scary, cool, awesome, perfect. It is. That's great. It is scary. This is life. But if you want the things that you want, you have to stand up and lead. You have to stand up and lead your own life. End of story. Bam. So that's what I had to say today. That's what I had to say today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> huh. But yeah, you guys are all fucking awesome. I have a lot of people live today. That's exciting. So I have to go get an MRI and this needle and this all this dye shit shot into my arm. So I'm going to head out and do that. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Crystal, I'm awesome. I'm glad that that hits you where you needed it. If you guys, if you guys like these videos, share them. I appreciate that very much. The more people that I can reach, the better. Oh, and Kyle's is rock. Yeah. See? Bam. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.